Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a set of rainbow geode resin coasters. After mixing her resin for 3 to 5 minutes, she separates it into smaller cups to add the pigments. She pours into 6 smaller cups to be able to add the different colored pigments, and then pours into another cup to add the white pigment, and she's using casting craft. I'll have links in my description so you can purchase some of these products. All of the alcohol inks that she's using are from Depon, and she starts off with electric green. She starts off with adding just a few drops, mixes it together, and then decides to add a few more. Then she moved on to do the pink, and it's in the shade electric magenta. And this one was a little bit tricky because she did add a generous amount into the cup of resin, but it was really difficult to see how pigmented it really was. So she kept on adding more drops of the alcohol ink, and especially with these pink molds, when you pour, it's also really difficult to tell exactly what color your resin is. So the final result was more pigmented than she expected, so overall she didn't need to add as many drops as she did here. The next color she's adding is red, and it's in the shade Desert Red. For the blue, she's using Intense Teal, and she just repeats that process of adding a few drops and mixing it together with the resin. The next color she's adding is yellow, and it's in the shade Golden Yellow. And last but not least is purple. She didn't have a purple alcohol ink, so she mixed River Blue and Magenta from Depon, and a Violet by Pebio. Then she continues mixing to make sure that everything is mixed together very well. She checks the opacity by tilting her cup like this. Now she's ready to start pouring and she starts off with the white pigmented resin and pours it in a thin line around the edges of all of the molds. Here she poured just a little bit too much, so she takes a small spoon and scoops it out. She wipes it down and then continues pouring. She uses a makeup brush to make sure that the resin has reached all of the small crevices of the molds. Now she starts to pour her pigmented resin and she just pours it directly into the center of the molds. Then she takes the white pigmented resin that she has left over and pours it into a spiral motion. She pours any of the leftover pigmented resins into the center of the molds and this causes the white pigmented resin to slightly shift outwards. She adds some glitter and holographic flakes into the leftover pigmented resin that she has and adds it into the very center of the molds.
Then she uses a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and she's moving it in a very quick motion to be sure that she doesn't burn her resin or her silicone molds. And here's a clip of my mom demolding the coasters. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.